Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Extra's unique page templates. Extra comes with a default template and seven other unique templates for pages. So they can be found in your WordPress admin under Pages, Add New, and in the meta box titled Page Attributes under Template. So when you hit that drop down menu, you're gonna see that we have the default menu, sorry, the default template rather, and then authors page, blog feed page, contact, member, portfolio, sitemap, and timeline. So if you wanna use any of these templates, all you need to do when you're creating or editing a page is come down to this page attributes meta box and under template, select a different template. What this will also do is um, give you some unique options down here and uh, under the post content uh, by adding extra meta boxes potentially. Um, so, so in this case, I can choose all or just some of the authors on my site. And on the front end, it looks like this. So the next page template is the blog feed template. And this is what the blog feed template looks like on the front end. And on the back end, all you need to do is select blog feed page. And you'll get the blog feed page template options down here. And you can choose to display in standard or masonry style. You can choose which categories to display and uh, a combination of them or all. You can choose how many posts per page, change the sorting method from most recent to most popular or highest rated, change the sorting order from descending to ascending. You can choose to show author, show category, feature image, ratings, um, or content excerpt or full content. You can also choose to turn the date on or off um, as well as change the date format. Okay, the next page template that we have to look at is the contact page. So here's what the contact page looks like on the front end. And on the back end, when we're creating it, we just select contact page and we get the contact page template options here. We can put in a new address for the map and we can uh, title the contact form as well as select an email for submissions to be sent to. All right, next up we have the member page. So the member page, uh, when it says you are already logged in, um, it's gonna look like this. However, it's gonna be a sign up form when you're not logged in. So let me go ahead and open a window real quick that is not logged in. So you can see what that's gonna look like. So here we have the member page here and sign in or username, password and login. All right. So next we have the portfolio page. So the portfolio page when selected in the back end, it's going to give you the portfolio page template options and you can choose uh, which project categories you'd like to display. You can also choose, um, to hide project titles or hide project categories if you'd like. Now on the front end, um, it's gonna look like this. It's automatically gonna populate with your project's post type and use that taxonomy um, to display. Okay, next we have the sitemap. So on the back end, when we create a sitemap, we're gonna be presented with sitemap page template options. And we can choose to um, display all or just pages, just categories, just tags, recent posts, archives, and authors. We can choose to exclude certain IDs, uh, post or page IDs. We can um, show post count. So right now that's no, but let's just, let's put that on yes.
we can choose to show post, uh, post count. We can choose our recent post section options. So how many do we want to show there? 10 or five or three. And then we also have the archive section options. So we can limit the amount of archives displayed per month to, uh, to 12 or whatever number we choose. And we can choose to display the post count for that as well. Finally, we can choose to select all or none or a combination of the authors. And on the front end, it's gonna look like this. All right, so now we have the timeline page. So when we open up the timeline page, there's no extra um, meta boxes here for us to configure. And on the front end, the timeline looks like this. So you have your months and years over here. And then as we scroll down, we can see that it's showing our posts by month. And last but not least, let's just take a peek at what our uh, standard template looks like. So we have three options for our default page template here. We have right sidebar, left sidebar, and full width. And all of that is configurable right back here in extra settings. So when we have default template, we can go down here to extra settings and we can choose right sidebar, left sidebar, or no sidebar, and that's available for all of these templates. Okay, well, that is all for this video. This has been an overview of Extras page templates. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment, and we'll make sure that you get a response. If you're interested in learning more about Extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the View Demo button. If you're interested in getting more Extra tutorials, click the Subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.